channel. In this episode, we're going to be having a look at TR6 engine breathing. It's fairly clear that engines like to breathe, having uh, too much pressure in the, the crankcase and also in the rocker cover is not a good thing because that tends to force the oil out of places where it doesn't need to come out of. On a TR6, the engine breathes then through the, the top cover and that goes into the plenum on a PR unit, probably into the manifold on a, on a carburetor setup. Uh, but one of the downsides of that is upstream. So over here in the, uh, the middle two combustion chambers, I'm finding that the plugs are a little bit more sootier than maybe they are at the, the extreme, showing that whatever's coming through this pipe is getting pulled back in. I've tried various things. At the moment, I'm running without the, the trap. Uh, but what I'm going to do is have a go at doing a few little modifications that will hopefully improve the breathing. First up then, I've noticed on the original cover that's now been removed, uh, there is actually a baffle plate over the, the vent tube here. And that's something that my new aluminium rocker cover uh, doesn't have on. So first thing I'm going to try and do is replicate this baffle plate on the new aluminium rocker cover. I'm then going to clean out the trap. Uh, it is fairly good, I can blow through this quite easily, but I'm going to clean that out with some, some fuel uh, to get it as clean as it possibly can be, and then get that back into the pipe, so any oil mist in theory should get uh, at least slowed down or, or caught by that in, in the bypass pipe here. And after that, I'm going to have a look at what's involved in making a crankcase breather. Uh, there is an old fuel mechanical fuel pump cover plate here that sits underneath this pedestal. I think that's an opportunity to take a breather pipe out of here and then feed that up to an oil catch, catch tank, therefore helping to eliminate the pressure uh, that, that's uh, building up in the cr main crankcase. I've been experimenting as well with an oil catch tank. Here's one that I've got mounted to the bulkhead uh, with a, a small breather on there but certainly my experience from the uh, the midget spring car is that these these diameters on these pipes are certainly not enough to allow for an engine to breathe uh, well and successfully so i'm going to get this off uh, and potentially we're going to look at some modifications to this to help the tr6 engine breathe first up then let's get the uh, rocker cover off And my thinking here is I've cut an aluminium plate. This is uh, eight centimeters by six centimeters. And I'm thinking I can form that into a, a baffle that'll be one to two millimeters away from the edge. Uh, and then maybe secure it with one screw straight through the, the casing underneath the existing 10 millimeter hole. Uh, so to, to put the case under pressure, but not give an obvious route for the uh, for the oil. So I've got my little mock-up plate here but before I go any further what I've done is just stuck that on with uh, some 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 blue tack some uh, kind of sticky gum just to position it and I'm gonna put the cowl back on the car just to make sure that this doesn't foul with any of the springs. Okay, so that fits. So what I'm now going to do is uh, drill a hole through here. And we'll mount that up onto there and it should be ready to fit back to the car. So uh, it always loathes me drilling holes in nice shiny aluminium bits, but uh, here goes.
So we're using here just uh, an M5 bolt, a couple of washers to space out the, the baffle plate and then a nylock nut. So if it does come loose, it's not gonna start uh, moving around and falling into the engine. Uh, so let's get that together. Right, so uh, all tightened up. There's my finished baffle. Uh, with a nylock nut on the outside. So let's get that back on the car. So next up, we're gonna cl clean our flame trap here. Uh, it's been on the car, it's done a few thousand miles. So uh, I've got a jar of petrol here. Always be very careful when you're around petrol. It is a highly flammable fluid, of course. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just drop that into there and put the lid on, making sure it's nice and tight and give that a really good swill around. And that's a good sign, the petrol's going black already. That's telling me that it's cleaning and getting all the oil deposits out of the trap that we made previously. So, pleased with that. So we'll give this a thorough clean, give it a spin around, leave it to soak for a little bit. And we'll get it out and get it back on the car. All clean again then, so uh, let's get it back on the car. So that's the easy bit. We put the flame trap back in, put a baffle in the rocker cover. Uh, next thing I'm gonna have a look at is seeing what's involved in converting the old mechanical fuel pump cover into a, a breather pipe that we can take to a catch tank. First thing then is going to be to get it all off so I can get access to the cap. Okay, so with the metering unit off, you can pull that forwards and you can just see the cap down there and the two bolts, or nuts I should say, that hold it on above the, uh, the oil filter. So we're going to unscrew those nuts and see if we can get the cap off. So there then is the cover plate removed from the side of the engine where the old fuel pump was and that's what it looks like inside a bit grubby uh, so what i'm going to do is remove the gasket off this clean it up and then uh, i've got some tube so we're going to drill a hole in here put a piece of tube coming out of there that we can attach a pipe to uh, and then we'll get this put back on. I've cut my bit of pipe to length now, and if I put that up against the plate, 
back on the engine you can see how it sticks out underneath the metering unit here and that would enable me to put a half inch bore pipe from here up to my catch tank that I've got mounted here so uh, what I'm going to do now is get the the uh, fuel pump cover plate off drill a hole in it and then I've got to get the welder out So uh, just tacked that in place just to get the position. So what I'm going to do now is offer it up to the car, make sure it clears the metering unit, and if it does, we're uh, we good to weld up the tube to the uh, to the new uh, fuel plate. You can see the hole there that's been cut in the back. And the good news is, when fitted into place. If I can get down there, you can probably just see it. Uh, that clears the metering unit just fine. And more importantly, the pipe goes upwards right from the engine block. So there's no opportunity for oil to, to pull and sit in the bottom of the pipe, which wouldn't be good news. So uh, now I've got that, I can weld it up uh, properly. Right, so there is our finished breather pipe. So uh, all that remains now is to put a gasket on it, uh, a little bit of sealer, and then uh, we can screw that back to the engine. Okay, so there we have our breather pipe all, all mounted up. So next we can put the metering unit back on. Okay, metering unit back on, and you can see my breather pipe here. So all that remains now is to fit a pipe from here to here. So I'm going to do that, and then after that we can get the distributor back on, reassembled, reset the timing, and uh, we're done. Good to go. So that's the installation all complete. Let's get the rest of the car back together. So that's all the breathing upgrades done. Uh, we've put a baffle on the rocker cover. We've cleaned out the flame trap and we've uh, taken off the old fuel pump uh, cover. We've taken another breather pipe to the crankcase and uh, taken that out to a, an oil catch tank. So it's clear that the venting is actually working. So through our pipe here, you can see some of the crankcase fumes that are coming off here. So uh, if that hadn't been there, it would have relied on the uh, gap through the head up to the, uh, up to the cylinder head in order to, to vent those fumes. But instead, they're coming through the oil catch tank. Really pleased with the crankcase breather. Uh, it fits really nicely underneath the metering unit. Uh, and with the pipe comes up to an oil catch tank that I've mounted in this spare space here uh, that, that wasn't being used. So uh, the proof will be in the testing, of course, and uh, keep an eye on the comments, as I'm sure you will have lots of views on this. And 
I'll be letting you know if I've found any improvement or not. So once again, I uh, hope you've enjoyed the adventures messing with the TR6. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you on the next video.